Yo, no word of a lie, this uniform for Carnage is absolutely insane. Like, I'm not joking, boys. This thing is actually mental. This man's damage is next level, guys. Like, for real, for real. I got him up to level 70, and I got the uniform up to Legendary to get some more dodge and stuff. This guy's canceling out my skills. But besides that, I haven't changed anything from the first video. I'm gonna do back-to-back -back uploads on this guy. Just get them out the way, give you guys as much as you want to see as possible. And then we're going to go back to uh, Spider-Man and all kinds of other stuff. Because, yeah, boycott's not over, all right? But people are asking for a lot of different things for me right now, so I want to just get them out as quickly as I can. So, yeah, um, let's just use the force skill. Force skill actually hits pretty hard as well, because it crits a lot, and crits... Ooh, oh, come on. Crits are a big part of his damage too. It's not just defense down. Okay, um, missed my proc there because my fifth kill was not ready. That's fine. We'll sit in the iframe. Look at look at the fourth skill. Shredding this man. Holy. Yo. He's nuts, guys. He's actually nuts. Alright, so we just do three. I'm gonna do five. Oh, really? He canceled me. He actually canceled me. He would have been dead there. Yeah, man. Carnage is actually so sick now. So much damage. <laughs> like, it's next level, boys. And then check this out, right? It's not just against people like Pietro, who he has a type advantage against. It's not just against people like Proxima or Corvus. You can take him in against Thanos as well, and he's still gonna slap, right? So we're gonna do a stage 30 here. I know 30 is not the highest, but it's Thanos, right? And also what you have to keep in mind is some of Carnage's damage is coming from defense down, right? But it's not that much of it, and you're gonna see that on this stage right here. He actually puts in so much work, even without the defense down, that this is a uniform that you definitely want to consider at some point, man. I do think it is going to hold a lot of value long term. Gotta watch out for when Thanos throws out the purple orbs, though. To basically strip away your um, invincibility, because you can die very, very quickly. But... You can also kill him very, very quickly as well. So we do three, get the buffs. Okay, so right there he stripped away our invincibility, so we kind of had to cancel out of the uh, the fifth skill early. So we didn't get the maximum amount of damage. But it's nice that he has a full iframe on the forward skill, so you can just hide in that while your skill comes back off cooldown. Let's just run with Shuri here just a little bit, then tag in Miles, do a little bit with him. Then we tag Carnage back in, we go three, we go five. See those crits, bro? Look at those fat crits. Those fat 100k crits, bro. Like, I'm telling you, this uniform for Carnage is naughty, guys. Now, this is where you get to see his raw damage, because no more defense down, right? Let's just watch out for the blade twister because even though it's not gonna bleed us. What? I did not hit my fifth skill there. Okay, that's annoying. Sometimes when you're like maneuvering against Thanos, the skill will just press itself. Like this is a bug that I have encountered multiple times before. It's really, really aggravating actually. Like, and it always happens at that portion of the fight. Comment down below, let me know if that's ever happened to you guys. Like, it happens to me so frequently. Okay. That's annoying. Let me get back in my zone. Okay, we have a lot of uh, symbiotes out, so we can heal up a good bit. Here we go. Back almost up to full health. Let's do that. <laughs> he looks so creepy, bro. <laughs> Ah, uh, I missed my proc. Just a little too late on the cancel there. I should instant cancel, to be honest. Okay, let's go three. Go five. 
four, four, three, you got five. He's gonna strip uh, invincibility. Yo, even Miles is kind of slow, to be honest. Or am I tripping? Come and come to the center? Okay, that's fine. I just don't like when he's in a corner because when he's in a corner, if he does that um, beam, this beam, you can't get to maneuver around him safely, right? Oof. Let's go three, go five. No, thank you. We don't want those. All right, what are you doing? Come in the center. Let's go around him. Let's go three, let's go five. Let's go four. You can see the four is a full eye frame. Oop. Nope, you cannot outrun those. He's too slow. <laughs> we not playing that game. What do you, ah, come on, don't do that. All right, so let's go three, let's go five. And he's dead. He's literally dead. So stage 30 here, again, not the highest possible stage, but he's still tier two, keep that in mind. And like I said, when a character has defense down in their kit, it is very, very nice to see that they're actually able to output really good damage against Thanos, because after the first half of the fight goes by, usually what happens when a character relies on defense down quite heavily is their damage just falls off a cliff and they can no longer put out damage but because of this man's new tier 2 passive actually it's not even tier 2 passive <laughs> i keep getting it mixed up with name wars passive because of the fact that he has a uniform bonus which is the exact same thing as name wars tier 2 passive he now hits extremely hard when he crits and because he has the guaranteed crit right right here plus a nice fat crit rate buff on his uh, third skill. Man, he's beautiful. He's actually, not, not visually like uh, you, right? But like the damage from him is absolutely beautiful. And that was all with a regular damage proc. So you slap a rage on this guy, you slap an energy on this guy, man. He's gonna go to the next level. Look at, look at the Urus too, right? It's just naked. Like it's literally just a naked build without just a uniform and a regular obelisk. Even the um, ISO set is not like completely done yet. Even the uniform options aren't fully rolled to what I want them to be. But I'm gonna wait until the ISO set rolling event starts half price and then I'm gonna roll this to um, probably Power of Rang Hulk to get some more attack speed so I can fly through the fifth skill as quickly as possible. The reason why I'm doing that is because in a fight against Thanos, getting stripped of your um, buffs will really hurt, right? Hurt your damage and your survivability. So because of that, going through this skill as quickly as possible is beneficial. However, going through this one as quickly as possible might not be too beneficial because it's a long cooldown on it and it's a full iframe. So you ideally want to stay in there when you don't have your invincibility up. It's a trade-off, but I'd rather get the attack speed. So this skill goes off really, really quickly. We get as much damage as possible. And then we just jump into an iframe to hide and heal up if we need to. Overall though, very, very much so loving this uh, upgrade for Carnage. So we're gonna take him to tier three, probably later today, so you guys can look out for more content tomorrow on him. But let's actually jump into some giant boss raid here. I haven't done giant boss raid for the day yet. CTP of energy drop, please. Anyways, we're gonna jump in and see how he does. Just gonna do a random match with a couple people. Actually, I might get kicked out. <laughs> I might get kicked out, so we'll see what happens. Because these days it's just tier 3 or you get kicked out of the lobby, so... Alright guys, so I actually had to make a lobby. I was running with one of the homies, I believe his name is uh, Meme Boy. And I actually got kicked out, so I actually had to make my own lobby to hopefully get a better connection. Alright, and we're running with Mr. Prezi Dead Show! Okay, we're running out with Prezi. Been a while since I've actually ran with him. And I asked him if he could use the exact... So, well, I didn't ask him to use the exact same thing. I asked him to use Carnage. Right, because I wanted to see what Carnage's damage looks like, and if we don't get to see my Carnage, at least we'll get to see a Carnage. One thing I will say is Carnage is not the tankiest character. Okay, he can get one shot it so easily. Like even with the damage reduction in his kit and from Miles. Oh, we also have a Black Panther in here. 
<laughs> Why? For the memes. <laughs> I'm just playing. He's, this person just came in. Um, I believe he's on my friends list. I don't know. I don't remember. So we'll see. It'll be interesting if to see if um, we lose in DPS to a uh, black band. Imagine. It still trips me up when I see like the spike in damage. For, ooh, oh, oh gosh. Okay. From Carnage and then um, all of a sudden he just completely stops. It really trips me up. Oof, okay. No, oh, we're doing decent damage. Decent, decent. If we're doing more than Black Bandit though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go three. Ooh, okay, three, five. I was on the proc? Where's my proc? Okay, my proc is late. That's the thing about Carnage too. Like if your proc is late on your fifth, you kind of lose a lot of damage, eh? Mm, like your proc has to be like legit on point. So I think because of that rage. See like there my proc was very much so late. Yo, two seconds less on his um four skill would be so good. Like just an additional. Oof. Wow, look at that! Just him jumping off the map was enough to pretty much kill Carnage in one shot. Yeah. Oh gosh! Please don't kill me, Prezi. Thank you. He tagged out, eh? Okay. Oh, by the way, I, I don't think I showed it in my first video. Ooh, he's dead. Yep. <laughs> I don't think I did. I showed it in my first video, but I don't think I have to tell anybody. I don't have any of the new Reforged cards or any of that nonsense. All right. So two hits from uh, Master Mold is enough to kill him, which is kind of sad. All right. With all the damage reduction that he has, I guess bringing Shuri would have been better because then we get some more um, mitigation to the damage that he takes. This, take, this took a while. Um, I, I'm impressed with Carnage. I am impressed with Carnage, right? I will say that. Offensively, I'm impressed with Carnage, especially seeing how he performed against Thanos. But defensively, mm, I'm not too happy. I'm not too happy. I'm going to do one more run here with the homie Prezi because he... Okay, he, he, he left. Anyways, I thought he was going to stick around. I would have actually read a couple more with him. Just because I do need to do mine for the day to get all those um, components or whatever. Some days I do, some days I don't. But in terms of his survival ability, like his ability to tank damage, I'm not impressed with that. Like maybe at tier 3, he will feel a bit better. But 15% damage reduction here and then another like, what, 20 from Miles and he just basically got two shot in? Mm, I don't know. Feels... He was kind of hit or miss, right? Because it's 24 miles, right? Yeah, so 30% damage reduction. Ouch. All right, guys. So we're going to wrap it up here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave me your thoughts in the comments. How do you feel about Carnage? I'm happy with him in terms of damage output. He's definitely going to revitalize a dead character that nobody was using for literally anything besides like a floor 20 or so Shadowland stage, right? For, for old time's sake, I guess. But overall... This is a good upgrade, man. Definitely. Even if you don't tier 3 them. So, Black Friday purchase, if you already had the uniform, I'd say, yeah, do it. Definitely. Tier 3 coming soon, boys. So, look out for that tomorrow. Shout out to the homie Prezi and the last um, recording <laughs> that we didn't get to show in today's video. Hashtag meme boy. When you see this, you know who you are. I'm done. Peace.